We're here with Konami and we're talking about the new game that's coming out for uh, PS2 and the, the Wii called Silent Hill Shattered Memories. And the PSP as well, yes. And the PSP. And can you tell me about, now apparently at the beginning of the game you go through a psychological profile for your character? The beginning of the game is the start of your psychological profile. And the first thing you'll do in this game is you'll be in this doctor's office, you'll fill out this uh, questionnaire that kind of gives the game uh, a basic idea of your psych profile. From there, the game starts watching you and it keeps on watching you, constantly tracking everything you're doing, everything you're, uh, you're not doing, all the, all the little little individual choices you make in this game, and based on the accumulated result of all those choices, the game crafts itself, kind of tailors its own content specifically to unnerve and to scare you as a player, as an individual. Now, is there a, um, like, multiple endings or right or wrong way to play the game, or do you have to based on your fear factors and certain different outcomes? Well, there's not so much a right way or a wrong way to play, uh, but there are multiple endings. Of course, those have always been a staple of the Silent Hill series, yes. and uh, those endings will in large part be the results of uh, your actions up to that point. Uh, all your actions, not just any any lone significant choice or anything like that. Uh, it's just it all comes down to the way you play. Now, is there a lot of games um, don't or do offer replay value? Would you feel this is a game that offers a lot of replay value? Uh, significantly so, yes. Um, when you play through this game a second time, even if you think you know where to go, uh, the game will still be a very different experience. And, you know, the same for the third, fourth time, uh, the creatures will evolve in different directions depending on your psych profile. Everything will change. Well, the creatures themselves will evolve differently. The, the creatures themselves will evolve. Uh, let me show you something else new to this yes, game. Yes, yes, please. Uh, so here's our cell phone. Uh, your cell phone is kind of your map, and I'll show you the map. It's your, uh, kind of your HUD in a way, your heads up display. Uh, this is also where you access the option menu. You can make outgoing calls. I'll, for example, I'll try to call 911. Well, they kind of answered. Well, you'll, you'll hear 911 in the fun, game. Right? They, uh, you would have nothing to fight. Uh, yeah, that you won't get through because of the storm, but you can try to make the call. You can call 411. Uh, there's a lot of phone numbers you'll see over the course of the game. Some of them are just, uh, you know, just fun. Some of them are more uh, puzzle-related. Excellent. Uh, so you're still going to have your puzzle elements, which are staple to Silent Hill games. Of course, of course. And uh, you, you also have your camera. Your phone will take yeah. care of the story. Now, now I heard this is a kind of a, what they call a reimagination of the original Silent Hill for the PlayStation 1. That's right. It takes the basic premise of Silent Hill 1, where Harry gets a car crash, wakes up, his daughter Cheryl is missing, he goes to Silent Hill to find her. Right. Weird and scary things start happening in there. It takes that and takes a different approach to it. It kind of goes in a different direction. But, uh, you'll meet some of the same characters, but they'll be uh, kind of different incarnations of themselves. Uh, and which incarnations those are depends on your play style. Excellent. And can you play as uh, just Harry, or are you going to have other... Can I play as a female in this game, if I were a female, based on my psychological profile, or just, just well, one character? Well, Harry is the main character. Okay. But that doesn't mean that your psychological profile can't fit the profile of a female player. Okay. So uh, just like you know, Silent Hill 2 was geared toward what, uh, more toward what scares men, and Silent Hill 3, of course, with female protagonist, was more about what scares women. This game should be about either. It's basically about Excellent. what scares you. Personally. Excellent.